Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I am, I am driving. Oh, you're driving. Okay. Be careful, please. I listen you. It's all right. Be careful. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Welcome to the class, everyone. I'm happy to see you here. So, who else is there? Okay, Boris is driving. Edwin, are you there? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thank you. All right, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the class. We are going to give a minute to your classmates um, in order that they can join us. I hope that they can join us soon. And we are going to start with today's class. As always, we are going to have a lot of practice, okay? I wanted to talk a lot. And we are going to continue practicing the topics that we studied um, yesterday, okay? Do you remember the topics that we studied yesterday? Yes, a little bit. Uh-huh, no? Okay, so no worries. We are going to review them, okay? Guys, just a reminder, remember working on the platform, okay? Um, we are in the week number three, but I can see some people haven't finished the homework from the unit number two, okay? So be careful with that, guys, please. I needed to finish the platform of the homework number two. Okay, um, so try to work on it. Okay, okay, welcome the ones who just join us. Welcome to the class, everyone. Thank you so much for being on time. Uh, I was checking a, on WhatsApp's group that some of your classmates will be listener. Okay, just remember guys, if you will be listener, don't forget to write the word listener um, on your profile. Okay, when you write the word listener, so I will understand that you are not able to participate. Okay, don't forget that. Okay, we're going to start everyone. Uh, I hope your classmate can join us soon. And let's start sharing, as I always mention, uh, the platform. Okay, I want to share with you your progress. Look at this. Can you see uh, the platform? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes. So guys, we are in the week number three, okay? So the idea is that we can start working in this unit, but there are some people that they haven't even finished the homework number two. So be careful with that. And also guys, remember that in the week number two, we have the midterm. Not everybody has taken the midterm. So if you haven't taken the exam, guys, do it. Remember that every Friday I send your grades. Okay, so I have some people that I don't have grades for those people. Okay, so you have to finish it. Um, so let me share with you guys unit number two and the midterm. For example, Ana Lorena, she's fine, right? Already finished homework two and already finished the midterm. That's great. Boris uh, has 80% in the homework number two. That's great, but it's missing the exam. So Boris, please try to take the exam as soon as possible. Carlos Alberto is fine. Already finished the homework number two and already finished the exam. So we got Carlos Ernesto is a little bit low. 
Edwin, Antonio, good score in the homework, but is missing the exam. With Elias, we have zero progress. With Eulisa, we are fine. He already finished uh, the homework and already finished the exam too. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, Salvador, Salvador is doing well. I mean, he already finished almost everything. So that's pretty well. With Josman, super good because already finished the homework, already finished the exam. So excellent job. Um, Kevin, we have zero progress. So we need to run, we need to work on it. With Nelson, pretty good. I mean, finish the homework, finish the exam. The same with Osman, the same with Pamela. That's pretty good because they finish um, the homework number two and also the exam. So excellent. Um, and well, basically that. The other ones, uh, I have no progress. So everyone, uh, this is just a reminder. Okay, so Teacher. please work on the platform. Yes. Uh, what happened if uh, didn't the exam last Friday? Ah, okay, listen. The idea is that you finished uh, every week each activity, okay? Um, what I did, guys, is that I send the score when you did it. I tried to upload your scores every day. I mean, every day I check um, the platform and um, every day I try to upload your scores. So imagine that you didn't finish the exam on Friday, but you finish it this week. I try to upload the grades this week, okay? So um, I expect that you don't have issues with that. But remember guys that your grades, your attendance, even the classes um, are being recorded. Uh, Insta for people, they check and supervises everything. So just imagine the scenario. ¿Qué pasa si de repente los eh, encargados de Insafor entran y ven el cuadro de notas? Right? So, podrían ver, hey, ¿por qué esta persona no ha hecho el examen si ya están en la week number three? All right? Y les podrían llamar la atención. Entonces, eso es lo que yo quiero evitarles. All right? Y lo mismo sucede con las clases, everyone. Okay, si se fijan, las clases son grabadas, de repente entran personas y monitorean la clase y de repente preguntan, ok, ¿por qué esta persona tiene la cámara apagada? Uh, ¿Por qué esta persona eh, nunca participó en la clase? All right, so I always try to help you, but sometimes it's not possible. Right. Entonces, hay que tener cuidado con esos pequeños detalles para evitar, guys, que ustedes puedan tener problemas en el futuro. Ok. Please. Ok. Any questions so far about the attendance, about the platform, or something? No? Ok. Ok. Uh, a reminder, guys, remember the attendance is important. Listen, I totally understand you are busy, you have to work a lot. The time is not easy, right? Yo sé que algunos saliendo del trabajo van y se conectan. It's difficult. I understand. So remember, cuando se coloca la asistencia, se colocan los minutos que ustedes se han conectado. Y eso es algo que yo no puedo modificar, sino que es algo que Zoom genera. Entonces la clase dura 120 minutos, pero ahí tengo a varias personas que no se conectan los 120 minutos, right? Y lastimosamente, aunque ustedes pidan permiso, eh, well, <ríe> siempre les va a parecer cero porque no se conectaron. Por eso yo siempre recomiendo a everyone que se conecten al menos como listeners. All right. Les voy a mostrar un ejemplo de cómo se ve la lista de asistencia. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. Listen, cuando ustedes no se pueden conectar y me piden permiso, 
como les digo, aunque pidan permiso, siempre les va a aparecer cero. ¿Qué es lo que podemos hacer nada más? Agregar el comentario, right? Ah, esta persona informó that maybe they wouldn't be able to connect because this and this and this. I add the comment, but that's it. It's always zero. And that is going to affect your attendance. The rest, if you see, I have people that connected 120 minutes, that's the ideal, okay? That's the total amount of minutes that you have to connect. But I have people with less than that. No todos se conectan los 120 minutos. Hay personas que se conectan un poquito menos. Y uh, again, guys, yo los entiendo. All right, a veces falla la conexión, a veces salimos tarde del trabajo, a veces teníamos que estar haciendo otra cosa. Believe me, I understand. Lastimosamente, esto es algo que no se puede modificar. All right, así que solo les hago este llamado, right, para evitarles contratiempos en el futuro o un llamado de atención. All right, cuando tengan alguna emergency or something, try to connect at least as listeners, okay? But try to stay the full class connected, all right? Eso es para evitar que vayan a tener problemas con lo que es la asistencia. ¿Entendido? Yes? Got it. Very good, everyone? Yes? Any questions yes. about the attendance? Nope? It's clear. Excellent. So, um, keep in mind that, please, All right? Just if you are late, if something happens, stay as a listener and then you can continue with the class, but connect, all right? That is the most important thing, connect to the class. If you see right now, I can see few people, right? Yo sé que de por sí el grupo es algo pequeño, but imagine in this moment, I can see very few students. Right? Y durante el transcurso de la clase, your class may join, but guys, try to be on time. All right? Because there are always people checking the class. There are always people checking, like, what's going on here. All right? Um, and the problem is that si ven que el grupo está como, um, no se conectan, no se conectan tan frecuente, lo que pueden hacer es simplemente no darle continuidad al grupo. All right. Y yo creo que aquí todos queremos seguir, right, al siguiente nivel. Together, ya se conocen, ya son un equipo. So it will be difficult si de repente dividen al grupo y empiezan a mandarlos a unos y a otros a diferentes grupos porque el grupo se mantuvo demasiado pequeño. Okay, así que para evitar inconvenientes, again, everyone, let's try to be more responsible with the attendance. Well, después de este llamado a la conciencia, <laughs> let's start with the class and let's see how much you remember. Today is July 11th. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? yes. Excellent. Okay, so. This is the week number three, okay? And this is the topic that we are going to study today. We are going to review and practice the vocabulary related to the seven R's and the three PL, okay? So let's start. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Yes, go ahead. Class objective, participants will be able to express the advantages of outsourcing a 3PL providers and add connectors to their speeches. Speech. Thank, you. Thank you. So we are going to continue practicing, guys, the connectors that we practiced yesterday. I hope you remember that. But now let's review a little bit all the topics that we have been studying. Let's review a little bit the vocabulary that we studied during the previous days. Okay, when we are talking about logistics, if you remember, we studied some letter R's. Do you remember the seven R's? Yes. Yes, everybody? 
Okay. okay, let's see. I'm going to pick someone. Let's see. Du -du 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 -du. Uh, let's see Edwin. Edwin Antonio. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Okay, Edwin, tell me, tell me the seven R's related to logistics. They are seven. Go ahead. Um, let me see. Uh, focus. Don't look at the notebooks, um, okay? okay? That I remember is right quality. Right, um, what, right what? Can you repeat? So right quantity. Right quantity, okay. Right customer. Mm -hmm. Right pro. Right okay. Right price. Okay. And right product. Okay. And right condition. Right condition is missing one, I guess. Um, right, right price. price. Uh huh. And look, right. Look, all of these ones. Right, right, right. product. Mm -hmm. Right price. Right customer. Right quantity. Right condition. Time and price. Pretty good. Okay, Kevin, can you please uh, pick one of your classmates, please? Mm, Eulise. Eulise, okay. Eulise, can you tell me? Let's see, what is the meaning of right time? What is that? Um, when. But uh, when buy something in the different uh, business, mm -hmm. and then then they um, I don't know they try to stay in the right time. Hmm. Okay, do you agree, everybody? Yes? Okay. It is. Imagine, guys, that you buy a product and the company, they give you the product in the correct time. If you say that you will receive the product in two days, they have to give you the product in two days, that is right time. Olise, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Let me see. Um, Pamela, Carolina. Okay, hello, Pamela. Hello, teacher. Okay, Pamela, can you explain me the right condition? Right condition. I don't remember that picture. All right, how about the right price? Mm, the right price, I think it's when, when the company has to, has to know what is the, the pricing with the competition and how a have a, a good price for the customers. Mm, okay. Do you agree, everybody? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Actually, 
That's correct. Imagine, guys, also, imagine that you buy a product for $10. They need to charge you $10, no more, nor less. It's exactly the price. Um, Pamela, can you pick someone, please? Um... Boris. Okay, Boris. Hello, Boris. Oh, I, he's driving right now. Uh, pick someone else. Okay. Kevin? Kevin. Okay, Kevin. Explain me the right condition. What is that? It's when we buy uh, some things and we uh, take a product uh, with a uh, right functional. Mm -hmm. by presentation and and the packaging is correct and and other things when when we when the product is is transport is transportation está transportándose transportating is transporting uh, it has a good packaging mm. and when i take this product i take the product uh, in correct uh, quality yes very good that's what your classmate says is totally correct just imagine guys that you buy um a laptop <laughs> and when you open the package the laptop is broken is that the right condition no right the right condition okay. means that the product has to be in perfect state in a perfect condition no broken no damage okay Kevin, pick someone, please. Um, Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Nelson, explain me um, right product. Right product. Um, let me see. Um, could be when you try to sell a product that it's need uh, useful for the people and the product uh, or service uh, have to uh, have to uh, um, I don't know, permanecer. Stays. Stay. Mm -hmm. No, change my idea. When the product uh, needs to yeah, useful life uh -huh. uh, to prolong uh, for much time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the right product, guys. Remember that these can be considered in different aspects. For example, if you buy an object, you need to receive exactly the object that you bought. And also, guys, right product means to match the needs of the customer. Right now, everybody is using smartphones. Yes or no? Yes. It's pretty, I mean, I think that nobody is using all cell phones, right? Everybody has smartphones. Do you think that the business, imagine I say, okay, I want to have a business. In my business, I'm going to sell all phones, aquellos que parecían bloques, right? 
Is that a right product for our society? What do you think? Is that a good idea? Yes or no? No. <laughs> not, not really. A good product. Nobody will buy it, <laughs> right? Everybody wants a smartphones. And if you sell another product, so mm -mm, that is not the right product. Okay? Nelson, pick someone, please. Mm, Elias. All right. Hello, Elias. Hi. Good night, everyone. Hello. Tell me, Elias, can you explain me what is right place? The right place. Um, mm, the right place is the best position mm -hmm. or place to take advantage of one opportunity. Um, maybe um, in the in the moment of the of the buy, or maybe uh, when the customer is looking for a product, uh, can. Um, can take her uh, their service. service. Mm, sounds good. Very good. Imagine, guys, I want to sell coffee. Okay, I want to sell hot coffee, but very delicious coffee. Do you think that is a good idea to be, uh, to sell hot coffee? at the beach <laughs> around 11 and 1 p.m., 11 in the morning and 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Is that a good place? No, teacher. No. <laughs> I no. know, right? The beach is so hot and you are selling hot coffee? Not really. What could be a good place or what would be the right place to sell hot coffee? What do you think? Little mountain. In the mountain, yes, because it's pretty cold. So it's you a can, good idea you, to sell it. You can, you can send also Canada. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay. Where else? What would be the right place if I want to sell coffee? Any idea? In a mall? In a mall, yes. But look, that is the meaning of right place. You need to search a good place in order to take advantage of the location and you can sell the product. All right, Neftali, pick someone. Hosman. All right, hello, Hosman. Hello, teacher. Okay, nice Hosman. Nice to see you too. Welcome. Thank Tell you. me, what is the meaning of right quantity? Quantity, right quantity. Well, mm -hmm. I, I think um, when when I like a vendor, I send the correct quantity to the customer. For example, if a customer uh, buy me uh, 10 cell phones, I have to send tell cell, phone, tell cell phones, no more. That's correct. Yes. Very good, exactly. That's right quantity. Very good. Okay. okay, pick one of your classmates, please. Mm. Let me see, teacher. Let me see. I'm going to show the, the classmate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a victim. <laughs> a victim. Uh, all the classmates, the camera, camera is turned off. No worries. Pick them. <laughs> Ana Lorena. I'm all sorry, right. Lorena. <laughs> Lorena, can you participate? Yes. yes. 
Excellent. Okay, <laughs> explain me, right customer, what is that? Uh, it's when a customer uh, buy a product, he mm -hmm. need that the product come day. Uh, uh, the customer near precise uh, the product and maybe don't send um a different address. Exactly. Um, basically, only that. Yes, very good. Thank you, Lorena. So yeah, imagine guys that you buy a product and they send the product to another customer. Now, right? That is not good. Also, remember that when we are talking about the right customer, we need to identify the people we are going to sell the product. If I want to sell laptops, for example, do you think it is a good idea to sell laptops, uh, very modern uh, laptops to people of 80 years old? Is that the right customer? No, teacher. Not really, right? Who could be the right customers if I want to sell laptops? Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, a game, a gamer. Gamers, okay. Who else? Do you think that it's a good idea to sell laptops to university students? Yes, it's correct. Yeah, workers, right? How about if I want to sell candies? Who could be my right customer if I want to sell candies? In a garden. <laughs> In kindergarten, yes, In kindergarten. <laughs> kids. <laughs> Mm -hmm. in a park in the park so in you see park. yes because in the park there are a lot of kids so my right customer are kids okay so guys um i can see some of you remember pretty well the seven r's excellent if you don't try to review it a little bit Okay, so one more question. Let me ask you, everyone. Is price the most important criteria? What do you think? Of all these seven R's, do you think the right price is the most important? Yes or no? Please uh, tell me what does um, criteria? Criteria. Um, okay. It's like to say the most important aspects. Okay. So do you think that price is more important than the other R's? What do you think? No. No, teacher. Why no. not? Uh, I think, okay, continue. Uh, Lorena, you first and then your classmate. Okay. I think that the most important uh, criteria is by pro because it's the key of my buying and I need to receive uh, uh, the thing I buy. <laughs> mm, okay. What else? How about you guys? What do you think? Do you think that right uh, price is the most important? Yes or no? Uh, yeah. I think it depends uh, about what is your market because there, there are many customer, uh, no, no, no matter the price, because they prefer quality. Ah, okay. That's correct. There are some customers that for day, it doesn't matter the price as long as they have the right quality or the right condition. Pretty good. Anyone else? What do you think, guys? Teacher, I, uh -huh. I believe that the price is the, more, the most important criteria. 
Why? Because uh, all, co all consumers or customers, uh, when, when they want to buy something or something, uh, always take what is the price and re relaciona. Relate. With all, relate with other R. Uh, right quantity, but always they are see the price. Ah, price okay. Relate with the quality. Pri mm -hmm. uh, price relate with the condition. Price relate with the time. And, and uh, for this reason, uh, for, uh, I believe that the price is the most important criteria. Okay, you see, that's a very good point, right? And yeah. in this case, guys, yeah. remember yeah. that it's going, to depend. going to depend. I'm sorry, I'm listening to an echo. Okay, this is going to depend on the point of view, especially if you are considering the point of view as a customer or as the owner, okay? But, very interesting answers. Thank you guys for participating and give me your opinion. Now, before continuing, that I can see a lot of students already connected. I'm going to check attendance. And when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, let's start it, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. All right, uh, Boris Alexander. Uh, let's see, Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. All right, all right. Boris, Boris, I hear. Yes, okay, thank you, Boris, and thank you, Carlos. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. No? He, he be a listener. Ah, that's true. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Okay. Eulise Torres. Present. All right. Jose Salvador. Okay. Um, Josman Atilio. Okay. Um, let's see. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present. Okay. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Santiago Roberto. Okay. And Wilber Alberto. Okay, pretty good. All right, so let's continue, everyone. So remember that right now we are just trying to review what we studied, okay? Let's continue. Let's see if you remember the next vocabulary. This is something that we studied yesterday. Uh, let me ask again individually, let me start to Carlos. Carlos Dominguez, hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Do you remember what logistic is? Mm, I do not remember, teacher. Okay, pick someone to help you. Pick someone. Pick a classmate to help you. Carlos? The logistics teacher. Uh -huh. The logistics. Uh, the, mm, the coordination of the operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Or supplies? Okay. Everybody, is that correct? I agree. Yes? That's right. 
That's right. Very good. Yes. Carlos, pick someone, please. Um, the number two, teacher. Uh, Elija alguien. Pick someone. Uh, uh, Ulises. Thank you. Okay, Ulises. Supplies. Do you remember what was the meaning? Okay, let me see. Supplies uh, for me, the process of supplying goods to a store in the other business that sell to consumers. Okay, do you agree, everybody? Is that correct? Yes? No? What do you think? I'm not sure. Oh, you don't remember. Oh, my goodness. Yes, teacher. Yes, do you agree? Yes. No. No? No. So what is the supply. correct one? Supply is the... Uh-huh. The process of keeping. The process of keeping something in good condition. Do you agree, everyone? So what is the correct one? Which one is supplies? Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Teacher. Uh-huh, Pamela? The amount of a good or service offered for sale. All right, so now we have three options. Okay, so some of your classmates says that is the first one, process of supplying goods. Some other things that is the process of keeping something in good condition or the amount of a good or service. Everybody, what is the correct one? Do you remember? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. I Maybe agree with Pamela. You agree with Pamela? Okay. Yeah. So guys, Mm, I think that we are going to have an exam here in the class because you forget the vocabulary. And yes, that is the correct one, pretty good. Okay, do you remember guys, which one is procurement? What was procurement? Do you the remember? Act of, the, act. the act of obtaining or buying goods and services. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everybody, do you agree? I agree. Yes. Agree. Yes. Yes. Okay, don't look at your notebooks. Okay. I just want to see if you remember. How about distribution? What was that? The first process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses that sells to customers. Consumers. Mm, do you agree, guys? Is that correct? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. Now I see you remember. You start to remember. Maintenance. What is that? The process of keeping something in good condition. Are you sure? I, I agree. Yes, I agree. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Inventory management. What was that? Maybe need or create amongst different companies producing. No. <laughs> the ongoing process. The ongoing process. And then go, then go on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah right? Ongoing, yes. Ongoing process. And in the end, supply chain is the network, right? Created with different companies. Okay. I so agree. good. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys, don't forget the vocabulary, please. We maybe will have 
every week we can have some exam, okay? Just to see if you remember the vocabulary. Okay, let's continue. Um, do you remember what is the meaning of 3PL? What is that? Party logistics. Third party ah, logistics. three party logistic or third party logistic. Okay. So if you remember, we were studying this one. I need a volunteer to describe, please, the first party logistic. Is the the pure party logistic is a uh, the manufacturing in the in the manufacturing uh, they they uh -huh. they do do or they they they, they are all the oh. producing the manufacturing the the they the, do all the all the, the process all, yes uh -huh. very is very good exactly remember that in the first party logistic they do everything they manufacture packs stores delivers very good job that's all they don't need another company okay second party logistic let's see i need a volunteer please uh, teacher and, and manufacturing uh -huh. uh, and transport and market. Okay, that is the second part of logistic. The the in the the two, the second P PL is the the outsourcing is the, the transport. Mm, so in this case, they, they don't. don't do all the job, right? Yes. That's correct. They just manufacture packs or stores, but they need to outsource another company to do the delivery process, for example. And the last one, volunteer, can you explain me the third party logistic? What is that? Uh, teacher, the three PL uh, manufacturing, uh -huh. packaging, uh, warehousing, uh -huh. transportation and market very good so do they need to outsource more companies in the third party logistics yes yes, or no? yes yes right in this case if you remember one company only manufactures the product so then they need to outsource another company for transportation, another company for packaging, and another company for warehouse. So that is the difference between first, second, and third party logistic. Clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we are going to skip this part. Yesterday, we talked about some of the advantages of hiring third party logistics. We studied three advantages. Do you remember everyone? Can you name the first advantage that we talked about yesterday? Reduce the cost. Okay, reduce the cost. What else? Improves the customer satisfaction. Very good. And the last one? They, they, uh -huh, they, 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 um, letter, letter, provide, mm -hmm. letter, letter, no, they, letter the cost mm, okay they reduce the cost that is like the second advantage but what is the last one it's missing one i i don't remember teacher but is with the connection with the other countries uh-huh you get the idea but i don't know what is the name okay the advantage 
No worries, we are going to see it. So as your classmate mentioned, one of the advantages is that they improve customer satisfaction. Why? Do you remember why they improve the customer satisfaction? Uh-huh. Hmm, <laughs> we are going to have exams, guys. Uh-huh. Do you remember why they improve the customer satisfaction? Uh, we have experts pro providers. That is the one. They are experts in their area. That's why the customer satisfaction increase. Very good. As you mentioned before, another characteristic or another advantage is that they reduce the cost, okay? And we were describing some situations about transportation, right? And talking about what your classmate mentioned about international connections, they eliminate, okay, all the issues that the international transport represents. Okay, so those are some of the advantages that we can find. Please, guys, uh, imagine that we had an exam about the topics that we just review. Will you pass the exam? Si ese hubiese sido un examen, todo lo que acabamos de repasar, hubieran pasado el examen? Definitely. <laughs> definitely yes or definitely no? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Ah, okay. And the rest of you guys, will you pass the exam? No. Oh, All sure. right. So um, remember, the idea, guys, is try to uh, remember. I know that is a lot of words, a lot of topics. So, but I mean, let's try to review it. Thanks. Quiero que traten la manera de aprender las cosas no solo mientras estamos aquí en la clase, right? So, but during your full life. So, if you work on the platform, if you practice, it will be easier for you to remember the topics, okay? Now, let's stop the review. I can see you remember, okay? So, now let's practice. Simple past. As I mentioned, I told you that during this week, we are going to try to practice simple past so you can be experts in this grammar tense. Are you ready to speak in simple past? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, only one says yes. Okay, but let's see. I have prepared here different questions. So you have to pick one number and you have to read the question and answer the questions giving as many details as possible. Okay, remember that the idea guys is that you talk for at least one minute, okay? I need a volunteer. I have questions for everyone, so don't worry about it. Who wants to be the first one? I want the 15, teacher. Okay, Kevin says 15, yes? Yes. Okay. I am um, okay. <laughs> okay, Kevin, read it, please. Did you ride your bike yesterday? Uh-huh, what is the answer? Uh uh, yesterday, really, really, I didn't ride Why? my bike because I I I can drive, but I don't like ride my bike. Mm. Um, yesterday, I work I worked all day. And I I can I didn't have time to do to did this activity. Okay, but do you have a bike? Really not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you see, you answered the questions. Nice job, very good. 
Now, be careful with uh, this following structure. What happens, guys, if I have the preposition to? What happens with the verb? It is in past or in the base form? Base form. So can I say to did? No. No, right? For example, if you say, ah, yesterday I had to did. No, we have to say, I had to do. All right? Very good. Uh, let's see, Kevin, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Boris. Boris, give me a number. Uh, 10. Number 10. 10. Okay. Read it, please. Did you read a book this month? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, yes, I I read. Uh -huh. I read, I read, I read. Yes, no, so, I'm sorry, excuse me. What, one moment. I see. Um I I I roll I roll uh about -huh. this mom. The 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 boat I read uh, when when uh, excuse me the the I uh the 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 boat is it is it a number real or I translate the the, the number the book. If it is a proper name, you don't need to translate it. Okay, I I, I wrote the, the book, eh, eh, the book, eh, cuando lo que Dios hace no tiene sentido. Mm, okay. Did you like mm. the book? Yes, yes, it, it's, uh, the book is, is inter, inter, interesting. Interesting. For the interesting. Uh, the 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 people uh, talking talk talk the mm -hmm. the the experience with go okay uh, pretty good uh, how do you say hechos uh, reales real stories Re or real oh, facts okay. It's a. It's a. Real story. Real story. The, 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 ah. Real story. The the, the people. Uh, with as the with her as experience. With 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 go. Ah okay. Sounds good, sounds good. Now, very good, thank you, Boris. Now, what is the past form of the verb read? Well, what is the well, past form? Read. Yes, well. read, is the same? Mm, well. Yes. Ah, okay, yes. listen. The spelling is exactly the same. Yeah. What it changes is the pronunciation. In simple mm -hmm. present, I say read. In past, the pronunciation is read, read. as the color. So in simple present, you say, I like to read every day. In past, you say, yesterday, I read, I read. a book. Okay. okay? Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, with the proper names, guys, we don't translate proper names, okay? Unless if they have a translation. For example, in the case of the books, sabemos que hay libros que realmente fueron escritos en inglés, right? 
y los tradujeron al español. Si el libro tiene traducción al inglés, entonces sí lo traducimos, al igual que las películas. Pero si no, lo podemos dejar tal cual es porque es un nombre propio. Ok. Now, bodies, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, one moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Carlos Domínguez. Thank you. Okay, Carlos, give me a number. Carlos, you there? Okay, um, I need a volunteer. Who wants to try? Osman Hernandez. Thank you. Okay, Osman, are you there? I am here, teacher. Give Ready. me a number. Um, um, seven. Seven, okay. Two years ago. <laughs> Tell me what did you do two years ago? Two years ago, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> a good question. I, I I don't remember, teacher, but I but I yes, <laughs> suppose. But I imagine. Mm -hmm. I'm going right. to imagine, right? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, two years ago, uh, I was I was in Costa Rica. Yes. I imagine, I imagine. <laughs> I was in Costa Rica. Uh, I took my vacation. And I uh, and I went and I went to and I and I went to the beach with us uh, with uh, some for, some friends. Also, uh, I ate I ate uh, a lot of seafood in the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, That, that's all, teacher. That's all. <laughs> okay, but very good. You were talking in simple past. Nice job. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Uh, I know. Let me see. Let me see in this moment. Uh, hey, Elias Nathalie. <laughs> All right, thank you. Elias, give me a number, please. Uh, number one. Okay. Number one. Read it, please. What did you buy yesterday? Um, yesterday I bought um, cheese, cream, Um, requesón. <laughs> okay. Um, yesterday uh, was my day off, and I really like uh, buy my my food for all the week. So uh, yesterday I. I I bought my I, I bought my food and always um and always and, and also buy um Coca Cola <laughs> <laughs> and lemon tea. Uh, next uh, uh, after after the shopping um. Uh, visit my grandmother and tell her that I love you. I love her. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Nice. Okay, if you paid attention, Elias gave a lot of details. Pretty good. Now, uh, this is a, an interesting word. Requesón. <laughs> How can I say that in English, guys? I don't know. If you read some recipes, you can find that requesón is like cottage. Oops. Cheese. Cottage. 
Oh my. Mm -hmm. Cottage Teacher, cheese. Yes. How, how, how do you say queso fresco? Mm, okay. I've never thought about it. Guys, mm -hmm. what do you think? How can I say queso fresco? We cannot say fresh cheese. Okay. That mm -hmm. is not possible. Um, I'm not sure. Be honest with you. I'm not sure. I will say white cheese. Because if you look at the picture, let's see the pictures. Uh, I want to share with this. Look at this one. If you search on internet, uh, I'm going to share the picture so you can see it. If I look for a white cheese appears this, look, white cheese, that it looks like el queso fresco. If you see, se parece el queso fresco, right? Look, but honestly, uh, I'm not pretty sure if that is the one. Let's see in mm. this vocabulary, look, we have different type of cheese, but yeah. I will say Teacher. white, I will say white cheese, but Teacher, yeah, I'm not pretty sure, yeah. If we level up the, 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 the difficulties of, of my question, uh, how do you say queso fresco con chile? Because <laughs> that, 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 uh, that is uh, that I bought yesterday. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, in this case, guys, I will say the, uh, white cheese with chili pepper right <laughs> yeah <laughs> why not <laughs> yeah Thank you. all right now be careful with some verbs in past what is the past form of visit if you paid attention he say i visit my grandma visit. Oh. Uh, uh, went mm, yeah but i mean what is the past of visit visit Ah, visited. very good. Exactly. So visit is in present. Visited is in past. Visited. Okay. okay. Um, Elias, very good job. Uh, pick one of your classmates, please. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Sorry, man. <laughs> Another time. Oh, you already did it, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, Kevin already participated. Pick someone else. Sorry. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, you can pick the girls. No. Just Why? to Rafael. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, is Rafael listener? I think. Why well, afraid? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay, Rafael, give me a number. Okay. Mm. I will take the six. Six. Okay, complete the sentence. Um last year I I I was starting a new job in mm -hmm. in the company who actually I work with um, and I I started with uh, uh, several fears for the position and and expectatives uh, for the same situation. Um, now I I can say we winner and we and I I doing my work uh, very well. Okay, and do you like it? I'm not really, but. <laughs> the that paid the the bills <laughs> all right okay pretty good pretty good thank you rafael can you pick someone please oh well, everyone a victim 
<laughs> ah, okay. That's good. I think it's Paul, Pamela is a nice person. <laughs> so that's why she's a victim. Okay. Pamela, give me a number, please. That's a good reason, Rafael. <laughs> <laughs> um, number eight. All right. Read it, please. The day before yesterday, I was a, was on Sunday, right? <laughs> yes. The day, the day before yesterday, I went to the beach uh, to a food festival and I ate some pizza some Mexican food <laughs> and some chunks. It was, it was a really cool event and I enjoyed it. <laughs> so you ate a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, this is a very nice phrase, guys. Imagine in Spanish, we say, Antier, right? In English, we don't have a translation for antier. How can I say antier in English? The day before yesterday? Day before yes, yesterday. that's the only way. That's the only way that we can say antier, the day before yesterday, okay? Another example is, we in Spanish say pasado mañana, <laughs> right? How can we say pasado mañana in English? What do you think? Day after, Day tomorrow. after tomorrow. That is the one, exactly. So we not always have a literal translation, everyone. So we just have to search how to say it in English. Pamela, pick someone please uh, because of the time. Yeah, I think that this is the last one. Go ahead. Okay. Anna? Okay, Anna, go ahead. Give me a number, please. Uh, 18. Which one? 18. 18? Mm -hmm. Okay. Read it, please. Um, I was working at uh, 3 p.m. yesterday in my office. I uh, checked a document and prepared uh, a document for a register of products. Okay, pretty good. Now guys, is it easy or difficult to speak in simple past? What do you think? Uh-huh. Easy or difficult? More, more or less, uh, uh, the problem is the pronunciation of verbs in past, maybe the regular verbs. Yes. Uh, That's correct. That's true. It's difficult to pronounce them. So, Let's review a little bit, and, and this is something that we were talking about with one of your classmates. There is a key, guys, that you can use. Uh, no, it's not this one, sorry. Let's find out an easy way to uh, speak the verbs in past in order to pronounce them correctly. If you remember when we are talking about the regular verbs, this is only with the regulars. We have three options to pronounce them. We can pronounce it with the letter T. We can pronounce it with the letter D. And we can pronounce it with the letter like ID. Okay? Cuando los vamos a pronunciar con T? T. Easy. Think about a verb. For example, the verb kiss. What is the last sound 
of kiss. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? What is the last sound? Kiss. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Kiss. Right? That is the last sound. Kiss. Ok, hagan ese sonido. And touch your throat. Do you feel vibration on your throat? Yes or no? Yes. Are you sure? Do you feel vibration? Hagan este sonido. Um, look at this one. Vamos a compararlos. Hagan el sonido de la M. Mm. <laughs> and touch your throat. Mm. Do you feel vibration? Yes. Mm. Yes. Ahora, cuando hacen ese sonido, do you feel vibration? No. Not really, right? So, what is the rule? The rule, guys, is when you don't feel vibration, okay, so no vibrate, okay, you are going to pronounce it as t, okay? En este caso, cuando el verbo se transforma in simple past, okay, so we are going to say, Look, kiss, we add ed, y este ed va a sonar como si fuese una letter T. Y en lugar de decir kissed, ¿cómo vamos a decir? Vamos a decir kissed. 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 Ok. Yes. Kissed. No kissed. Kissed. Another example. Imagine that I use the verb. Um, okay, give me a second. Wash. ¿Cuál es el último sonido de wash? Wash. What is the last sound? Sí. Uh huh. Do you feel vibration? No. Not really, right? So, again, what will be the pronunciation? Can I say washed? Washed. Ah, washed. we are going to say washed. 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 Okay? So, the rule is if you don't feel vibration, you have to pronounce it as t, t. Now, the opposite, what happens if you feel vibration, okay? If you feel vibration, you have to pronounce it with the, the. An example of that verb could be, eh, let me think. Um, let's pick another one. Open. Touch your throat. What is the last sound in open? Open. Mm. What is the last sound? Mm. And mm. do you feel vibration when you pronounce and? Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes or no? Yes. So. In this case, what will be the pronunciation? Can I say open it? No, I will say opened, 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 okay? Opened, I need you guys to exaggerate, okay? You have to try to exaggerate the pronunciation. I mean, with the time, it will be easier, okay? But at the beginning, you need to exaggerate the sounds, okay? Uh, let's see, another example. 
clean. What is the last sound in clean? Clean. Uh -huh. Clean is clean. Do you feel vibration? Clean. Yes. yes. So what will be the pronunciation in past? Can I say can I say cleaner? Mm -mm, no, right? I will say cleaned. Cleaned. Another, another example, a common verb. Play. What is the last sound in play? Play. Played. Play. Do you feel vibration? Play. E. Play. Lazy. Yes. So the pronunciation in past it will be played. We played. don't say played. We say played. Played. Is it clear, everyone? Is it clear the difference between the t and the d? Yes. Yes. Now, the last rule is with id. This one is easy. Aquí van a ir todos los verbos que terminen en sonido de t or th. Si terminan en ese sonido, en sonido de t o de d, you pronounce it like id. For example, um, need. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? What is the last sound of need? Letter D. The. Look, exactly. The. So what will be the pronunciation? Needed. Needed, yes. Imagine I have the verb want. What is the last sound? Want. T. T. Yes, look. So what is the pronunciation? Wanted. Wanted, yes, as simple as that. So. These guys is like the basic rules to pronounce the regular verbs. Just remember the rules, okay? If you feel vibration, okay, you have to pronounce it with t. If you, uh, I'm sorry, if you don't feel vibration, if you feel the vibration, t. And if it is ending in t or in d, it's just Id, wanted, needed, decided, got it? Yes? Is yes. it clear? Thank you. You're welcome. Ready for an exam? Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes. Sam. <laughs> and some of you are like, no, my gosh. Let's have a quick practice, guys. Um, I'm going to share with you some exercises. Oh my gosh, but because of the time, I think that we are going to um, do only one. Okay, I'm going to show you some verbs and you have to decide what will be the correct pronunciation, okay? Let me share with you. Um, okay, it's a little bit slow, give me a second. Uh, can you see what I'm sharing? Yes. Everyone? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Look, I have this list of verbs. Okay. Like. If you paid attention. Liked. You can listen to the pronunciation. Can I say liked or liked or liked? What is the correct one? Letter T. Letter T, the first one? Yes. Yes. Are you yes. sure? Okay. How about love? Love. Little D. Love. Little D. Love. Are you sure? Why? Yes. Why do you think that is the letter D? Love. Love. Do you feel vibration? Love. 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 Okay, listen. Loved. 
Loved. Loved. Loved. Very good. Okay. We are going to answer these ones and then we are going to check if your answers are correct. Okay. I'm going to send the link so you can have the practice and do it by yourself. I'm sending the link here on WhatsApp's group and here in the chat. Okay, so everybody, open up the link, please. And you just have to choose the correct answer. At the end, everybody, when you finish, you can check if your answers are correct or not, okay? So you just have to click. Click in the option that you consider is the correct one. At the end, you have to click in finish, okay? And then you just have to click in check my answers. When you click there in check my answers, you will see your score and you will see if your answers are correct or not, okay? I will give you five minutes to complete this exercise. Everybody, go ahead. If you have questions, just let me know. Take your time. You can touch your throat to see if you feel vibration or not. Okay, go ahead. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Try to pronounce it. Try to exaggerate the sound. Teacher. You finish? No, um, I can enter the of the link. Oh, okay, no worries. If you want, you can do the practice later. Because uh, sure. I having a uh, problem with my internet. Yeah, okay, no worries. I mean, this is just a practice, everyone. So if you want, you can do it later, no problem. Okay. Oh. Teacher, I, I I put the 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 word uh -huh. mm, mm, no no sonido no no sound no sound yeah sometimes guys is the pen of the connection a veces el audio tarda que se reproduzca so les recomiendo que no se basen en el audio sino ustedes mismos traten de averiguar what is the correct pronunciation Okay. 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 Yeah. Please. Be careful. Check your answers. At the end, guys, I want to know what your score is. Okay. So try to do it carefully. Ready? You finish? Yes. All right, how is your score? I fail in one. Only in one, the... okay. In which one? The rest. 
rest. Yes. Mm, okay. But it's only one. So far, so good. Excellent. Okay, I see Nelson already finished too. Only one. Okay. So far, so good, guys. I liked it. Uh -huh. Who else? Did you finish, guys? Or not yet? <laughs> Read carefully. Remember everyone, you can try to touch your thoughts. That helps, okay? You can touch and say, do I feel vibration or not? Okay? Did you finish? I can see very good scores. Nice. All right, all right. Uh -huh, everyone. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Did you finish? Yes or not yet? Do you have two more minutes? Uh, hi, everyone. Be careful. Try to read carefully, carefully. Okay, I can see four people already finished and I can see very good scores. Excellent job. Very good, very good. All right, excellent, pretty good. All right. So I know that these guys is a little complicated topic. I totally understand. So we need to practice, okay? Try to practice as much as possible, please. If you feel that this topic is difficult, well, that is a topic that you need to practice more, okay? Any questions so far, guys, about the pronunciation of the regular verbs? Did you pass the exam? Imagine that this exercise was an exam. Will you pass the exam? Yes? Or not? Mm -hmm. Could be. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> All right. I know, it's difficult. I know. So guys, the idea is to continue practicing. I can see some of your classmates has has some mistakes, but actually guys, it's not so bad. You are doing great. I can see very good results. Now, let's have one more practice about the regular verbs. I have a story over here and we are going to read. Okay, I will need volunteer, please, for reading this story, but with a perfect pronunciation. I need a volunteer, uh, please read from here until here. Who wants to read? Volunteer, please. Me? Thank you, go ahead. Okay. 
it started as a normal day. I watched the news and wanted, as my wife, uh, prepared breakfast. She cooked, uh, yeah, and cleaned, which is what we had decided on when we date. We date. We date. We date. Date it and continue. Continue. Continue with the the. Uh -huh. Even after we got married. Very good. Excellent <laughs> pronunciation. So far, so good. I liked it. You only doubt it with this one. Date, but it's yes, dated. Yes, it's a short <laughs> uh, verb and confused me. <laughs> but you did it great. Excellent. Excellent job. Now, I need another volunteer for reading from here until, let's see, let's see, until here. Who wants to read? Go ahead. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. I loved the way she scrambled eggs, and I still do, after I walked to the store and picked some groceries. Good. You see, guys, you are good at pronouncing the regular words. Excellent job. Pamela, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, Osman. Okay, Osman, can you read the next one? Okay, teacher. I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. This topic is difficult for me. No worries. We are here to learn. Go ahead. Uh, problem with the pronunciation. Okay. I I asked I asked the mm -hmm. butcher about the smoked meat, but but it had not been curried, and I needed to work to wait another day. Later 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 uh, relaxed and used. Use the ham hammock while I I typed a few emails on my laptop. All right. Oh, so more or less, yes. Actually, asked you pronounce it correctly. Smoke, you pronounce it correctly too. In some verbs, you hesitated a little bit. For example, this one. What is the pronunciation of this one? Can I say cured, cured, or cured? With the cured. Cured, exactly. Cured. How about cured. this one? Relaxed. Can I say relaxed, relaxed, or relaxed? Uh -huh. Relaxed. Yes, this is with the letter T. T. So remember, mm -hmm. if you say relax, no vibration, right? So we say relaxed. I relaxed. relaxed. Okay. And then we have type. Can I type. say typed, typed, or type it? Type. With T. Look, we are going to say typed. Typed. In this moment, guys, as I mentioned, exaggerate. Okay? Try to exaggerate the sounds so it will be easier for you to memorize it. Okay? Try to exaggerate as much as possible. Understood? Yes? Yes. Easy or difficult, guys? Difficult. Is the <laughs> well, this is depends, right? I know that for some of you, it is easier than from others, 
right? So don't feel disappointed. Don't feel frustrated like, I, I cannot do it. It's difficult for me. No, guys, don't feel like that. Here in the class, we are here for learning. We are here to practice. If you feel that the topic is difficult, believe me, it's difficult for everyone. I mean, think about it. Todos hemos pasado por esto, right? Todos los que hemos aprendido el idioma hemos pasado por esto. Y si unos pudieron, ¿por qué nosotros no? Right? Solo es cuestión de practice. Practice and practice. Right? But believe me, at the end of this level, guys, vamos a ser expertos en simple past. You will see that. We can do it. Now, before we continue, guys, oh, and remember that during this week, vamos a tener like more practice about simple past. So if you feel difficult, relax. We are going to continue practicing this. Now, before we continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So when you listen to your names, say present. Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto? Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto? Uh, he's listener, I think. Edwin Antonio? Present teacher. Okay. Elias Neftali? Present teacher. Very good. Eulice Torres? Present. Very good. Jose Salvador? Okay, um, Josman Atilio. All right, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Okay, Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay, Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Very good, Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Very good, Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Excellent. Ah, you're here already. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Okay, excellent. So guys, let's continue. Um, let's stop thinking about simple past. I know that is difficult, but no worries. We can do it. Uh, let's review in these few minutes that we have. Yesterday, we talked about connectors. Do you remember? the connectors that we studied yesterday? Yes? Hmm. I hope you remember, let's see. If I want to express sequence, which connectors can I use? Can you give me examples? First. First. Mm -hmm. Second. Uh-huh. Although. Mm -hmm. But can I say although for sequence? However. However, can I say that for sequence? First. Okay, no. we can remember sequence is like una secuencia. So Step, I can say first, first. Uh -huh. second, second, before, before, after, after later. That. Aha, uh -huh, very yeah, good. Yeah. Look, yeah. Mm -hmm. we can say first, second, later, next, yeah. then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, very good. I got this. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, if I want to give examples, which one can I use? Uh, teacher, for example. For example, yes. Uh, what else? For instance. Maybe. Ah, for instance, correct. If I want to add information. Also. Also, uh-huh. <coughs> so, so. Mm -hmm. um, besides, besides. Besides. Whatever. And. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are more guys. These are like the most common. Okay, I want to express contrast. 
Hmm, which ones can I use? Uh, however. Uh huh. But. Yes. On the other. On the other. And. On the other end. And very good. Look. So let's stop using let's stop using only but. We can say however, on the other hand, all the okay. Now, if I want or if I need time to think in my answer, what can I say? Well. Well, let me uh -huh. see. Let me see. And? And? Mm. Do you remember the other ones? Let me think. Ah, let me see. Very good. So you can say different phrases. Well, let's see. Let me think. Mm, good question. Okay. And the last one, if you want to express your opinion, which ones can you use? In my opinion. In my own opinion. In my experience. Experience. Mm -hmm. experience. Experience. What else? In my case. I believe that. I mm -hmm. Yeah, those ones. I think. Yes. Remember that there are more phrases that you can use. I think, in my opinion, in my experience, I believe, as far as I know. So there are different expressions that you can use. Okay. Keep in mind these expressions, please. Now, the idea, guys, of using connectors is to sound more fluent, okay? And avoiding repetitions. Most of the time, we use this one. And, but. Casi que solo esa usamos. And, and, but, but, no. The idea is to use difference if you see here we have a lot of options okay i'm going to show you an example imagine guys that i ask you um how efficient is transport in your city i'm talking about public transportation what do you think about public transportation here in el salvador is good or bad? What do you think? Uh -huh. It's bad. Okay. For some people can say, nah, it's bad teacher. Okay, Abby, I need a volunteer please for reading this answer. Me teacher. Go ahead. Well, if we're talking public transportation, we have many different types of transport. For example, trains, buses, trains, and metro. So I think it's quite efficient. In fact, I believe we have one of the most efficient public transportation system in Europe. However, re Regarding regarding private, regarding private transport, there are many problems. Okay, this is just an example of the answer. In this short paragraph, how many connectors can you identify? Can you tell me the connectors that you can see here? Well, okay. Well, fact, it could be in fact. Yes, in fact. For example. Oh. For example. For example, what else? So, so, what else? However. However. I believe. I, think, I believe. I think. I, I, I think, think. Where is it? I cannot see it. Ah, line. yes. Oh, yes. I think. Look, in this short paragraph, I found 
different connectors. So that's what we need to try to do. We need to try to use as many connectors as possible. Understood? Yes? Okay. Now, uh, I know that the time is very short. So guys, right now we are going to practice speaking as always. Um, let's see. Okay, give me a second. We are going to practice only three questions because the time is pretty short. Listen, I wanted to work in groups answering these questions, but the idea is this. No es que solo vamos a ir a responder por responder. Quiero que me den una respuesta interesante. And look, in your answer, you need to use at least three or four connectors. Váyanle contando los connectors a su classmate. Y hasta que haya dicho tres o más, entonces pueden pasar a la siguiente pregunta. Understood? Yes. How many connectors do I need? At three. least three. Yes, three or more. Remember guys, I already gave you a list of all the connectors that you can use. So in this moment, try, okay? There are different questions. Give your opinion. Try to give as many details as possible and try to use connectors, okay? I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp groups. I need to everybody try to participate, please. We only have 10 minutes, guys. So let's try to do our best. Let me open up the breakup rooms. And let's go to work. Let's go. I'm sorry, teacher. Sorry, the 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 incorrect. No se puede unir al grupo. Turn the 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 turn the incorrect. Okay, gracias. Okay, I send it again. No worries. But, well, I think that it's important to learn another language, be, because um. In the laboral work, is are more opportunities. Also, um, you can e explore other language and other culture. Um, maybe like Japanese or uh, English, and. <laughs> uh, it's important to learn another language uh, like English because are more um, are more things interesting like uh, music for example it's it's awesome when you hear a, a song and you understand what the, the artist tried to say. What's three? Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, Eulise and Edwin, did Elias use three or more connectors? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. I listen and many times. So let's nah, try to avoid and. <laughs> Okay, who's next? Elias, pick someone, Eulise or Edwin? Uh, Edwin. Okay, answer the question, Edwin. Okay, uh, the question number one, how important is learning languages? Uh, for me, uh, it's important because this, this language uh, can open doors 
in the in a work. Um, for example, when you apply for a new job, you have opportunities to to hear it. And also, uh, we can have uh, a new experience about uh, new words and something like that. I think is very important uh, personality and in the Sorry, teacher. I, how can I say ambito laboral? Uh, laboral field. Okay. Mm -hmm. Como un campo laboral, laboral field or work field. Okay. So the, this help you to have experience in the uh, work field. Mm, I think so. Okay, did he use three or more connectors, guys? What do you think? Yes. Yes, everyone? Yeah. Okay, next one. Ulise, continue, please. Uh, well, um, it's very important to learn um, language because uh, anyone um, anyone uh, can learn English because uh, when learn English um, the people uh, can be get a uh, other work other job or can be go uh, other country and that country uh, they or he uh, can um, can can to speak can speak uh English or French or other language. So for for my in for my for my opinion is it's in very, my opinion. In, in my opinion, yes. In my opinion, it's very important to learn language. Um in my in in my case i learn i learning english because i need to uh get another job another yes another job and in my future if god uh let me no how do you say permit yes. permit let me let me uh to uh how do you say it to go out of, out of another country for example canada mm -hmm. um it's for me it's it's a good it's excellent uh, country and there um, live my aunt and um I think so. Uh, I think there is a, a excellent life. That's right. why I, in my future, uh, I would like to live there. Did he use more than three connectors, everyone? Yes. <laughs> Actually, you use a lot. Very good. <laughs> Easier or difficult, guys, to use the connectors? It's not difficult, but I 
Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a thing about the connection. What happens, guys, is that we need to think about it, right? Tenemos que ser un poquito más conscientes that mm. we are using the connectors, right? But you are doing an excellent job. Excellent. Okay, because of the time, guys, we are going to continue tomorrow answering the questions, no worries, but we need to go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys. Time's up. Let's go back. Time's up. Okay, okay, everyone. Let's wait for your classmates. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. All right, all right. Time's up, everyone. Okay, so let's see. I know because of the time we couldn't answer all of the questions. I know, but no worries. Tomorrow we will continue. Is it easy or difficult to use the connectors? Uh huh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's acceptable. <laughs> acceptable. Okay. I know you have to think, right? You have to be thinking, did I say the connectors or not? Which one can I say here? But with the practice, no worries. Tomorrow we will continue with this. Unfortunately, today we don't have more time. So guys, try to review the vocabulary, okay? Now before leaving, yeah. the winner, Nelson. Yes, you are the winner for tonight. <laughs> and look at Rafael. Rafael I, is I want I want to pass my gift to another uh, friend. <laughs> and uh, it, you can invite <laughs> someone else. I mean, if Rafael wants to stay, he can do it. <laughs> no problem, teacher. I need uh go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay so guys have a wonderful night see you tomorrow Thanks, only Thanks. nelson bye, is bye. Bye. Good, good, night. Night. Good, night. good night good night see you guys good see you tomorrow night. good night okay nelson how are you i'm fine how was your day Mm, it was um, acceptable. For example. <laughs> acceptable. It's, it's today uh, doesn't no today it was sent it wasn't mm -hmm. and terrible. <laughs> uh -huh. So it wasn't so it's, good, uh, but it wasn't so bad. It's a uh, in. Yeah. Intermediate. Intermediate of both, <laughs> uh, situ both situations. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, Nelson, I don't want to take you so much time. I know that you might be tired. So this moment is just to clarify some questions that you may have about the class, about the topics, or about the platform. So this is your moment. Do you have any mm. questions? And no, uh, in my opinion, um, uh, your your way to to learn English to teach yes to teach sorry I my my mind is <laughs> off okay <laughs> your way to teach the English is uh, is awesome uh, all of the time all of us uh, is uh, are are sorry are uh, wake up. <laughs> yeah, you are participating. A, yes, the class, uh, the class is uh, dynamic. Uh, 
this topic is um, interesting. Uh, these topics for me in the past, in mm -hmm. the past models, um, I don't know. It's uh, it was uh, terrible because <laughs> uh, the topic I don't know anything about each topic and it's it was not... difficult to understand the yes, topics. Yes, the topics uh, wasn't attractive for me. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, it's the main. Um, idea, mm -hmm. but I tried every class to understand, to participate, and okay. to learn. Right? And that is the most important. I mean, yes. in the end, the goal is that you learned. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you like it. And yes, I know that the schedule is difficult. And I need you yes. to be active because at the contrary, everybody will be sleeping. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I try to, to have a lot of activities in the class so everybody can participate and can um, <laughs> stay ready to participate, stay active. So I'm glad you like it. <laughs> In the uh, an advice, um, mm -hmm. uh, I consider that in the last classes, yeah, uh, all all of the participants uh, we read a paragraph uh -huh. until the period. After mm -hmm. the period, uh, another read the the next say, one the next uh, paragraph until the period uh-huh okay uh, this way uh, all of all of us participate very good that's a good idea pretty good so yeah we can do that because i want to everybody participates all the time except the ones that says that they are listener but everyone yeah. had to participate very good thank you okay all right, uh, do you have any other comments or questions before leaving? No, it's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for the class for the past. <laughs> My pleasure. Past. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you need another topic, as I mentioned to your classmates, if there is a topic that you don't understand or maybe you don't remember and you would like to practice a little bit more, you can tell me, right? And we can take some minutes in some classes and we can review that topic, okay? Okay, I got Pretty it. Pretty good. Okay, Nelson, you are doing great. Keep participating in the class as always. Okay, so you will continue <laughs> learning. Very Thank good. You. Okay, thank you so much for staying. Have a good night. Have See a you good tomorrow. night, teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye.